So whatever the reasons may be for, for why we use the lapel, it's just a great way to, to sort of grab hold of your, your partner. And it's, it's something that we do because we feel comfortable doing it. A lot of people are really getting proficient in doing this whole lapel game and also learning how to defend it and counter it. And so even though we are still working on perfecting it and applying it the way we should, a lot of people are already applying how to counter it and, 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 and stop us from using the, the lapel game. But it's fine, you know, I think if you're really good at grabbing someone's lapel, you still would give them a hard time. And at the very least, you can use it to transition into something else, whether you want to do a barambolo or crab ride or something else. You know, you want to do a technical getup and just kind of mix it in there with your de la Hiva and all that. So it doesn't have to be just, oh, okay, I need to do a worm guard or de la worm or squid. You could just use those to set up your other things if that doesn't work out. But at least if you're proficient with this game, like I'm trying to be, then, then it kind of balances out because then I could do all my other stuff. I mean, because I know when I used to compete, I always have trouble pausing and stopping myself, especially when I'm not, because I'm not super proficient yet at doing some of the, the worm guards or the Della Worm, where I always want to take their back. And when I have an issue with uh, opponents who knows how to kneel or knows how to not give me their back, and then all of a sudden I don't know what to do. But now that I'm getting you know, better at sweeping people and, and, and not relying on taking someone's back, then I can transition into something else, you know, whether it's half guard positions or taking the back or, or something else in between where I can use to my advantage with the worm sweeps or Dilla worm sweeps or the chokes, adding the chokes when I'm in a certain position, whether I'm doing knee cut or even if I'm, if I'm on guard. Another thing that you can do with, with the lapel is, is to just do it to like a Polish worm position, right? Where you, you put it underneath your leg for some reason, maybe you can't bring the lapel underneath their leg. And so you're stuck with a Polish worm. So what do you do with someone resisting you? So I'm wearing this position and I can't invert because this person is like resist, resisting. Maybe they even pull this leg out, right? They're like, so I just, I'm just gonna let it go. I still have the, I still have the lapel, so I just turn it into lapel wrestling. But here I just stand up, go ahead and resist. I still have it, see? And I can still sweep them. You know, and then try to get a dominant position from there. So there's just ways of transitioning that you could do if you can't get the, the Polish worm. I get into a Polish worm position. I'm thinking about doing an inversion, right? But she won't let me invert. She's like stopping my leg. Boom. So I, I can't do my inversion, right? So she's even pushing my, maybe she even pushed my foot out. So what do I do with this? I'm in this position. And even if she tries to go ahead and tries to take my back, boy, <laughs> right? Um, then, you know, it's still kind of awkward, but obviously you don't want to be in this position, right? But I'm just saying if you are, then hold on to this lapel as hard as you can, and then, and then uh, pull it, boom. 
I mean, hopefully you're in the position. Sometimes you end up in the person's guard or whatever. But you just do what you can, you know, because obviously it's a transitional move, right? So you basically just turn it into a lapel wrestling when someone's trying to stop you from doing your inversion from Polish worm. So from there, when I'm trying to invert under him, he's pushing my leg out because he doesn't want me to under him because he'll know either I'm going to take his back or something bad is going to happen, right? I'm going to go around. I'm going to swivel and try to hook the other leg because I can't invert. Sometimes you end up in like awkward positions. The point is I'm keeping this lapel so that I can still yank him. I was trying to do my Polish invert. He stops my leg. I end up just swinging around, hooking the leg, and then getting up almost just like worm wrestling. And then yanking it, and then down he goes. This, this other version of the Polish worm is going to the single leg, which we already kind of shown you as, as a transitional move if somebody's resisting the inversion from Polish worm. But let's say someone tries to um, resist the, this version of the Polish worm, right? The Polish worm to the single. So let's try that. So that's what I'm doing. Um, because I can't take her back to grab her other leg, or, or turn into a single, then I just push my, get my leg out of the way. But I'm still, see I still have this grip right here. Polish worm, right? Right here. I'm trying to take the leg, but she won't let me. Yeah, every time I try to spin, I can't grab that leg. So I might as well take this foot out, right? And just turn it into like lapel wrestling. Bring this out. Oh. I'm still holding on to this tight, see how? It's still tight and she still can't really like stand up because I have it tight. Then I just keep pulling it as I I drive it and do a takedown. Go ahead. See? As long as you hold on to the lapel, you can turn it into lapel wrestling and still take your opponent down and hopefully you can still get a dominant position when you do it.
I did a, set up the Polish worm. And this one, I'm trying to swing around his back to hook the leg. Every time I do it, he's kind of following me a little bit. I'm going to switch this and sometimes I lose it. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to hook, hook this leg, push this hip and basically sweep. Setting up the Polish worm. Trying to swing around his back. He keeps following me. So I'm gonna switch my grip here. Keeping this on his hips, this foot on his hips, I'm gonna switch because I'm gonna yank him down, keep this here, like a Dilahiva hook here. Now it's like a push pull. I'm gonna hook this in while I push his hips and pull. Then I can get into like a mount and so forth. Okay, so we're going to be doing the um, reverse de la worm, which is something that is better now in terms of taking your opponent's back, right? Um, which isn't that easy anymore because now you have partners who really know what you're trying to do. So it's not always so easy to take the back now from reverse de la worm, you know, that you normally do. Like normally you could do this move right here, watch. Like normally you could you could do something like that, right? With unsuspecting partners, you could just take their back, but that's not really going to work anymore now because you have um, partners and opponents who who know what's coming. So either they just stop you, or they kneel, or they just jam you, or they just sit down and they don't allow you to take their back, right? So you you got to come up with other ways of transitioning into something else, whether it's sweeping or ending up in another favorable position so you can either do the switch grip or the roll through so, right, right with the whole uh, de la worm position you have it underneath your own leg and I'm about to take her back but she won't let me she's gonna be sitting now see so now what are you gonna do now you can't take the back right so you either roll through or you switch by going over. position right here I'm gonna take her back she don't let me so she sits right so now I'm gonna do uh, bring my leg over right here right but she's resisting so I can't do like the normal move that I normally do from the the roll through so I'm just gonna keep holding on to this grip and then I'm gonna bring my foot out right here see and scramble into a uh, more favorable position from there. As long as I keep holding on to the lapel, then I can still do it. So, ideally, I want to be able to climb over him, but he's stopping me. So this leg, I still have the lapel here, but this leg, I can't be that committed because he's stopping me from climbing through. I'm just going to pull this out and use my fist and push this down. 
so that I have control. So the key really is knowing when to keep your leg there to control the lapel, or if you're in the, trapping your own leg, you gotta pull it out and then using the lapel to, to control them. Okay, other versions of doing the, the reverse de la worm has to do with um, your opponent sitting because they're not allowing you to they're not allowing you to take their back right so they will do other things whether they grab your leg or they pull your pants or stuff like that and then you know normally we have techniques to do that right with a lapel where someone pulls your pants after you do a reverse de la worm you set up your de la worm right right here but i'm in the position he, he does he knows the sweep is coming or she knows the sweep is coming so she just decides to sit so we're in this position now and you know trying to fight for a better position he, she's going to try to hold on to my sleeves and that doesn't really matter to me i could try to pull it out and then he, she just stays right there my main concern is pulling my leg out for this position so i'm just going to loosen up my slack right here sometimes it's a little tricky it gets caught up but just loosen up a little bit and then bring it out this way so bring it out here pull out pull your leg and then bring it out this way and then leave it right here it doesn't matter if they're holding the grips right because once i post and i do this platinum uh, uh well the the worm wrestling right here and I get up then she's gonna have to let go and this is when i have the platinum control and stuff like that So, so this can this can happen right here, you know, where where she also gets up, she just doesn't allow me to just fall. So what do you do? You, you hold on to this lapel. You don't allow the person to get out, and you gotta lift it up high enough as well, so that way they can't bring this leg down, and you have the advantage when it comes to doing a, a takedown. So from right here, I could just again, I could just pull, pull in this position, right, and then. It's up to me whether I want to let go of this lapel now or not. Obviously, I could still hold on to it or just let go of it and just get into side control, right? But that's pretty much what you could do if someone gets back up to when they don't want you to just uh, yank them down. Well, for this Here. one, it's really like a, like a seesaw back and forth. But this is reverse on the worm seesaw because he's going to try to grip. Sometimes I pull it out you know, hand fighting a little bit. And then while I'm doing that, I like to already start loosening because this has to be a surprise. Cause if I'm like, sometimes the foot gets stuck here. And then if I'm like this, forget it. He's gonna do something, post, whatever, come on top of me. So while we're hand fighting, whether he grips it or doesn't grip it, I'm already loosening this right here to get my foot out. And then in, I mean out, push, post. Platinum worm to leg drag. From here, you know, you can go to the, like a head and arm. Boom. Or you can just move to the side, but the point is you gotta pull them up, drag them, pin them with a platinum worm to get, to get on top.
So as I was getting up to do my worm wrestling, I released pressure. So now he gets his hook in here and he gets his foot on my hips. And now it's kind of stopping me from going in. You got to I'm trusting in my, my worm wrestling. I'm hanging on to this. So I'm going to release this hook because now I got double pressure here. I got my knee and I got this and I'm just going to grind it. And now I'm inside control. Okay, this is not what I want because I didn't put pressure on this as I was coming up. He's now up here and he could probably try to bring me down. So I'm going to push his head down because that's control, right? At the same time, I'm going to back step into him. And then just slowly, slowly sit back. Or I'm going to hook this in. Now I'm in for an arm bar. Another variation of an opponent that sits, right, instead of grabbing your pants, they hook your leg. And so you just work on the transition. But let's say you're not able to work the transitions like you normally could because you have a resisting opponent, then you gotta just kind of work with that as well. So for this move, uh, which is, she sits down because she doesn't want me to sweep her from the De La, De La Worm. She grabs my leg, doesn't matter if she grabs my leg or not. The trick is to bring the leg over. If you do this, and you're trying to bring it in, oh, that, that's when it's slow. I can do it even like this, I could do it. But if I really want to exaggerate, I use my hands. Then I go like this, boom, see? It's that simple. You just bring it over. And that's how you do this move right here. And then slide. holding onto my leg. I'm trying to go the other way, but she won't let go. So, I still have my lapel, so I'm gonna hold on to it. But I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit so that I could bring this other leg up. Bring this leg up. And then I'm gonna push off the hand or the arm that's holding my leg. Kick off my leg, and I'm like right here. See, from this position, it doesn't matter what she does. I have this lapel, so even if she tries to get up, whatever you wanna do. See, she's still kind of twerked right, right here, see? Exactly. Just control and then get into that dominant position to transition again into like a worm wrestling type move. So as I try to get up, he's gonna hook my, he's gonna sit and hook my leg. Okay, I wanna go over him and then get to my side mount. But let's say as I kind of stepped over, he inserted his knee, pushing my elbow out, kind of loosening this, and then he's also pushing my back, not letting me go back. So I post his hand, I'm gonna do like a, step over his head and into a mount. By the way, when I step over, 
I'm keeping my grips. I'm keeping my grips always. Okay, so this is the uh, Wormnado graceful exit uh, from setup Della Worm to Wormnado. So the issue here is, you know, once obviously I work my setup first, right? Um, so you're in this position. A little bit of a tricky part, not really that hard, is if, is if you're trying to go underneath. And obviously, when in competition, this is kind of tricky. You, 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 really, you really have to be comfortable doing this move because your opponent's not really going to let you in. Like if I'm trying to go in here, he's just, he's going to hug me. Again, I'm right here, right? And it's hard for me to get in. But when I, once I'm inside, I got to make sure I have enough um, slack here. Because if it's too tight, it's hard for me to try to bring my foot like underneath her butt. You know what I mean? It's going to be tough for me. So I got to make sure there's enough slack. And it's not that I'm taking my time, but I just got to kind of do it right. It's hard. Sometimes I end up just picking her up from here, which is harder. If she's bigger, it might be harder for me. So I have to try to go down here and grab, or I can even go like, like, like this. But the point is I got to really just go underneath. So if I go underneath, I go... Like that, you know, so, but it's just a little tricky doing that, that kind of movement. challenge now is when I've got this and he uh, stuffs my foot under here okay I, I gotta push him out I gotta push him out because he's gonna he's gonna want to come in he's gonna want to come in and squish me so I gotta it's like you gotta push at the same time I'm doing this the the reverse of the worm lapel I'm loosening this up because if this is tight there's no inverting so I'm loosening this up as I'm pushing him I'm loosening the slack my hand drops to his, his ankle a little bit. And then when I'm ready, it's like kiss of the dragon, and then you gotta invert. So with that, when I'm ready, I can invert. So when I'm inverting, you see how I'm like way under him because now his weight is over there. I can grab whatever, lift, and rock him over. That, my friend, is the trick. is that when you invert you have to be under the person so that they're practically off their foot and above you and that's the leverage to rock them over that's the key that's the trick that's half the battle for me developing a lapel game is a big part of the evolution of my guard game because i'm more of a top game player so I like to be on top I like to smash pass you know really pressure my partner or opponent so I'm always looking and visualizing how do I get back on top and stay on top and control them uh, dominate them there and then obviously hopefully you know submit them so until I learned the lapel game I was not comfortable pulling guard in fact I not really afraid but I would hesitate with okay if I'm on my back you know what am I gonna do I need to the thought would be when I'm on my back I need to scramble and get back up right away but sometimes you can't because 
your opponent is going to be really good at keeping you down there. So that's where the lapel game comes in because more than just gripping, you know, the collar, the sleeves, that they could always kind of circle and then yank out and you lose the control. So with gripping the whole lapel, it's just a lot stronger and I feel so much more secure. It's almost like a security blanket where I feel, I feel so much more confident being able to yank the lapel, get them off balance at the least. And then I love the idea of tangling them with the lapel and their legs, right? Whether it's like, especially like reverse the worm. Um, so then that way I can, if I want to get back up, I can use worm wrestling to get back up in my more comfortable dominant position, top game. But if I want to play a little, I'm able to tangle their legs, really get them off balance, sometimes sweep them. And better yet, sometimes you can get into a position where you choke them out with the lapel. So that's the other thing that I got really excited about is when you're down there, use the lapel to control, get that position, and then you can even submit with the lapel. So it's it could be a really pretty complete ground game. So for me, that's been my that's my go-to. If I'm gonna pull guard, if I'm gonna be on my back, that's what I like to do. So that's going to do it for this episode. Till next time, stay safe and keep on rolling. Us. Awesome.